welcome back everybody to another edition of Quincy Beolds Let's Play. Here they come. And today we're playing Final Fantasy VI. Oh, if it isn't General Celis, the traitor. Excellent! Now I won't have to hunt you down later. That's a lot of guys. Yo! Get those vile insects! Ha. Huh. He made a funny. Because traitor rhymes with later. So he made a funny rhyme! Hehe! <laughs> ah. Uh, never mind. That's, I'll just stop. So, yes! Today we are defending Bannon. Holy moly, that was a lot of damage. Today we are defending Bannon from the Empire. Because the Empire is not really full of that nice of guys. So that's what we are doing. So, uh, there's not a lot of dia- not a lot of dialogue this episode. So there will be a lot of talking time for me, but I ran out of things to talk about. So if you guys have any, if you guys have any suggestions for what I should talk about, don't be afraid to tell me because I need them. Because I'm out. I know. I know. I keep on. Telling you guys, hey, give me something to talk about, blah 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 blah. But, uh, yeah. It's actually really sad. But, instead, today, I shall talk about my school. Because it's fun. Actually, this quarter is really fun. I'm taking short story, uh, screenwriting, geology, and voiceover. I, I'm honestly mostly excited for short story and voiceover. Geology is because I'm taking geology because it's a lab class, so I need it. And screenwriting, it seems like a pretty important thing if I want to get into uh, an art and game design. So yeah. Because game design is kind of close to movie design or directing or however you want to put it, so yeah. Suplex! Ha 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 ha! So, yeah, actually, I have two things I can show you that I got from voiceover class. Or two things I'm going to record tomorrow, and one thing that I already have recorded. That's all good quality and what's not. Because this is 20 something odd minutes of just fighting, so there will be time for that. You know, it's funny. I actually. I would think that while I'm talking, like, uh, for my voiceover class, I would be as careful talking in this, in my uh, Let's Plays, as I am in a studio, a uh, recording studio. But that is not the case, as you will hear from this speech right here. I'm sorry, but I don't want to be an emperor. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I should like to help everyone, if possible. Jew, Gentile, black man, white. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate and despise one another. In this world, there is room for everyone. 
and the good earth is rich and can provide for everyone. The way of life can be free and beautiful, but we have lost the way. Greed has poisoned men's souls, has barricaded the world with hate, has goose-stepped us into misery and bloodshed. We have developed speed, but we have shut ourselves in. Machinery that gives abundance has left us in want. Our knowledge has made us cynical, our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much and feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. Without these qualities, life will be violent and all will be lost. The internet and social media have brought us closer together. The very nature of these inventions cries out for the goodness in men, cries out for universal brotherhood, for the unity of all of us. Even now, my voice is reaching millions throughout the world, millions of despairing men, women, and little children, victims of a system that makes men torture and imprison innocent people. To those who can hear me, I say, do not despair. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed. The bitterness of men who feel the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass, and dictators die. And the power they took from the people will return to the people. And so long as men die, liberty will never perish. Soldiers, don't give yourselves to brutes. Men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, tell you what to do, what to think, what to feel, who drill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men, machine men with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines. You are not cattle. You are men. You have the love of humanity in your hearts. You don't hate. Only the unloved hate. The unloved and the unnatural. Soldiers, don't fight for slavery. Fight for liberty. In the 17th chapter of St. Luke, it is written, The kingdom of God is within man, not one man nor a group of men, but in all men. And you, you, the people, have the power. The power to create machines, the power to create happiness. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful, to make this life a wonderful adventure. Then, in the name of democracy, let us use that power. Let us all unite. Let us fight for a new world, a decent world that will give men a chance to work, that will give youth a future and old age a security. By the promise of these things, brutes have risen to power. But they lie. They do not fulfill that promise, and they never will. Dictators free themselves, but they enslave the people. Now let us fight to fulfill that promise. Let us fight to free the world, to do away with national barriers, to do away with greed, with hate and intolerance. Let us fight for a world of reason, a world where science and progress will lead to all men's happiness. Soldiers, in the name of democracy, let us all unite! So, uh... Now that I'm listening to that again, and listening to, uh, the recording that I have here of me talking to you, uh, I can see the quality very clearly, the difference in quality, and how mics do a very good job of that difference in quality. Yes, yes. And oh geez, this guy is strong. I think... Oh. That's not good. I should probably heal Celis before doing a Phoenix down. Or maybe... Ah, uh, yeah, I'll just heal myself. Yeah. So one of the things that I was noticing that I was getting wrong on Monday with, uh, that. Wait, why didn't I add this on Monday? Was there too much dialogue? Did I add it on Monday? Oh dear, now I'm gonna have to check again. And this guy does a lot of damage. I don't like this. 
We can use Q on the both of us and attack. Man, that's a good plan. And uh, <laughs> yikes. So uh, tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to be doing uh, Link, the first page to Franklin Delano Roosevelt's uh, 1933 inauguration address. And the last bit, last bit to uh, Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream, because I, I think I, I think I want to schedule the, my voiceover class to have a theme per week. For example, trying singing for one week, doing uh, radio announcements another week, some um, like voice acting like I do on here uh, one week and so this week is this week is uh, speeches famous speeches oh that one that you just heard that was uh, at the end of Charlie Chaplin's The Great Dictator which is the movie that got him kicked out of the U.S. because it was making fun of Hitler during a time where the only people we were allowed to make fun of was Stalin. Hitler and Stalin didn't really like each other. So, strange as it is to hear now, people were more favorable of Hitler. But so, he got kicked out of there. He got kicked out of the U.S. and had to go to U.K. And it actually didn't get any awards until like 40 years or so prior. No, after. Prior is before. And it's 40 years after it got like the award awards that it deserved. And so that's the speech at the end that Charlie Chaplin, dressed as Hitler, makes. So yeah. Oh, also, I have something pretty exciting for people that are in uh, the Pacific Northwest. This weekend, there is BrickCon in the Seattle Exhibit Hall. It is uh, for visitors. It is Saturday and Sunday. On Saturday 5th, it is from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. On Sunday the 6th, it is 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And again, it's at the Seattle Center Exhibition Hall, down on the step, downstairs. And I do recommend getting there super early, because there is a line. It's kind of a huge line to get in. But, uh, yeah. It is tickets are nine dollars per person, thirty-two dollars per family, for four person, four persons over five, and children under five years old get in for free. No strollers, please. Sorry, we do not have discounts for senior students, active military veterans, or large groups. And yeah. I am advertising that because I will be going there. I will actually be uh, videotaping for a friend of mine. Because she does videotaping and they ask her to do it every year. I did it last year and it was honestly a lot of fun. There was a lot of people. So if you see me in a shirt with the camera, just flag me down and say, hey, how's it going? There won't be that many people that sound like me or that will be videotaping, especially an official video thing. Oh, these two are having a difficult time. A very difficult time. Well, I should 
probably practice for tomorrow. Because that's probably a good thing. So here's just a teaser of what I'm gonna do. This is a day of national consecration. And I am certain that on this day my fellow Americans expect that on my induction into the presidency I will address them with the candor and a decision which the present situation of our people impels. This is preeminently the time to speak the truth, the whole truth, frankly and boldly. Nor need we shrink from honestly facing conditions in our country today. This great nation will endure, as it has endured, will revive, and will prosper. So, first of all, let me assert my firm belief that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Nameless, unreasoning, unjustified terror which paralyzes needed efforts to convert retreat into advance. In every dark hour of our national life, a leadership of frankness and of vigor has met with that understanding and support of the people themselves which is essential to victory. And I am convinced that you will again give that support to leadership in these critical days. I'm pretty sure I made some uh, good amount of mistakes on that. Like I'm just... It, it's not really the same if you can't really hear yourself. It's like... I, had a, I think I made a mistake right there, but I'm not exactly sure... In comparison to in the audio studio, where you, where the headphones are also direct to you, so you can hear yourself and be like, I didn't say, I did not say that right. So I should go back to the beginning of the sentence and try it again. Yay! Potion everyone up. Now at this rate, I'm going to uh, slow go, slow down, go out, run out, whatever those words are. And I'm almost done with soldiers, so that's fun. Gonna attack, uh, uh, wrong guy. Oh well. It's not like he's gonna die, like, in this instant. I mean, oh, dude. Uh, yikes. That's not good. Okay. It's gone. And now, I'm almost to Kepka! So, a big thing about uh, voiceover, I learned, is that what most people do is well they don't most people do not enunciate correctly but one of the largest problems uh, as I'm learning is uh, consonants trailing consonants like ending a certain word certain word on a certain uh, consonant for example, when you ever have an N, it's supposed to be N, and that's it. But most people say it with a N, like a Nana, or Nana. And then most of the times, actually I noticed myself when I was reading that, that I was forgetting to enunciate some of the T, some of the T's, like can. Like, I'm used to saying can, or can't, and then, because I usually just say, like, something afterwards that would make sense for can't instead of can, or 
saying don't rip, don't. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. But some people have mistaken me for saying I do know. Alright, time for Kafka. No dialogue at first? Boring. But anyway, so some people have uh, mistaken me for saying that. And I think that's weird. Because they were saying, hey, because the conversation would be like, hey, do you know blank? Uh, I would usually just say yes or just answer the question instead of. Oh, jeez. This. Okay, he's alive. But oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Ah! Now I see why the game APQs was saying that I should have four people in one of the parties. Haha! <laughs> I was not listening to them. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Boy. Ah! Anyways, so I would either say yes or just answer the question instead of saying I do know. Because that doesn't make any sense, at least to me. But then again, as we all know, just because something doesn't make does not make does not make sense to you does not mean that it makes doesn't make sense to somebody else. Man, for some reason, enunciating is a lot harder when I'm at home, talking to the microphone as if it's just a regular thing. Maybe because I don't have a script in front of me. Which means that I need to get need to get better at voice acting, so I enunciate without thinking about it. Yeah, that probably that would probably work. Wow. The teacher wasn't joking when he said that I'm going to have to relearn how to speak. <laughs> Which is voice acting. To those of you voice actors out there, out there, bravo. Bravo. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Alright, I'm gonna do this battle. So to everybody out there, I will see you Friday, but probably tomorrow so that it's uploaded. And some of you, I will see you at BrickCon. Fly high and dream big. Bye!